You are listening to the Hello Sport Podcast. All right, welcome back to the Hello Sport Podcast. I'm on Qualified Opinion and Wavering Bias. Happy first of the month. Pinch and a punch. Ouch. Sorry, I couldn't reach you to pinch you or punch that hurt. you. Sorry. Pinch and a punch the first day of the month. Is it the first today? I, th- I actually don't know. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I thought so. Steph said something to me yesterday about it, like pleasing her OCD that the first of a month was on a Monday. Oh, right. Yeah. What, instead of a Sunday for a purist? Well, there's just, well, as a purist. Well, any, as a purist. Yeah, no, no, but like those people, people who think the week start on a Sunday is just a fucking idiot. Like it just doesn't. It just doesn't. Like what about the week starts on a Sunday? Other than just that people say it does. No. I, I remember once I did a, an assignment, like a really early homework, and it stuck with me. And I got it back, and that I just put Monday, obviously, because that's the actual, that's the people's answer. Yeah. And it was given a big fat cross. Yeah. And I just go, what are we talking about? What, it's just ridiculous. It's like... It doesn't yeah, make any sense. It, I don't know... Can you tell me, Dave, why it's considered Sunday? Is it purely a religious thing? Is it like the Lord's Day? No, because I think church? he said the religious, like the religious day, used to be Saturday. He Either to, way, he used to rest on the on on a Saturday and crank again on Sunday. Yeah. All I'm saying, this is, is a modern take. It's yeah, get with the fucking times here. You know what? There's a, there's a lot in society that we are getting with the times on, right? And days of the week is fucking been lagging. Monday's the first day of the week and I won't hear another fucking word about it. Completely agree. It's madness. Yeah. Sheer madness. It's stupidity. Yeah, so it does come from religious calendars. Like both Christianity and Judaism have Sunday as the beginning of the week. And also when Romans changed from using an eight-day week to a seven-day week, which our current calendar is still based on, they designated Emperor Constantine designated Sunday to be the start of the week, the first yeah. day of the week. Not on anymore. They'll be writing textbooks about when it was officially updated, and that was Tom and Eddie on the 1st of May, 2023, deciding that Monday's the start of the week now. Would you rather have a six-day week, four days on, two days off, or a seven-day week, four days on, three days off? Seven-day. Same. Well, you get more days off. Correct. <laughs> Didn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are we talking about? <laughs> you had a long weekend or a short weekend? Uh, anyway, <laughs> how Dave, are can you, I ask you something? Yeah. Are you like the sort of guy that, that'll on Thursday say, may the fourth be with you? Is that, is that like a you thing? No, I'm not a Star Wars It dude. is a Dave thing. That, he reeks of it. Yeah. So does Tobler. Just, I'm Tobler just saying, definitely I'm just does. saying Tobler reeks of it. Yeah. I reckon Tobler with Spaces and his Triple J tats used to like really get off on that. Like may we, the fourth be with you. Yeah, 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 it's a very big Triple J thing. You yeah, guarantee Triple J will be having like heaps of Star Wars references. Anyway, just thought I'd bring that no, up. No, that's nice. Um, I'm, 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 I'm okay. You okay? I'm, I'm battling. I'm well. I'm fresh as a daisy. <clears throat> I wish I was fresh. I really did wish I was fresh, but I'm, but I'm not. No. T- Tuesday last week, Anzac Day, that took a toll mm. on my soul. Just drinking all day just buries you. And then I had the golf trip on the weekend. Big Friday, big Saturday. Nothing I can do about it. I feel I like when you're more hungover, your your hair and your beard retains water much more when you're hungover. It's probably because I haven't dried myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's sort of way. Just yeah. forget to dry. Yeah. I'm also running new towels at home that don't dry as well as old towels. Is that big, yeah, you need to give a couple. You need to wear in towels. I know. Isn't that fucking annoying? Yeah, it is annoying. Like if you could create a towel company, right? That, that has, and tea towels included, they just come out and they just work. Good to go. Straight away. Yeah. Because you've got to wash these things fucking 30 times before mm. they start having a crack. Yep. They're all weak. I'm with you. So play that under the fact that I'm probably a bit hungover. Maybe my drying routine not as vigorous as it usually is. And I'm running new towels. Do you just generally look a little damper? Um, not the bread. Not the campsite bread. Not that damper. Damp. Uh, more damp. Yeah. More damp than usual. Yes. Uh, how'd you go on the golf? Shit. <laughs> shit house. No, nah, yeah. Like, shit. Not Basically, good. Your driving thing on the Friday, no mayo. I've got witnesses. Didn't miss a fairway. Yeah. With the drive. I was taught you how to drive. And then, so that was Friday. Saturday, not the same, but guess how far I hit a drive. How far, mate? On Friday. No bullshit. Yeah. Measured on the cart. Yeah. GPS to the fucking mill. 275. Big boy stuff. 
That almost gets me on the tour. Were you using? That's the, almost on the tour. Were you using your clubs, or did you use some adult clubs? I use my clubs. The ones that Clancy lent you. Well, I just we've been so busy, Tom, mm. that I just couldn't find the time to go and get them off Clancy. Okay, so you even though he Clancy. offered to drop them off. Uh, so then you, that's not so right. So he could have literally. Yeah, them but them. I didn't want him dropping them off at night, and so it was just like, and then we were going. I was going early Friday. It was just a lot on last week, mm. Tom. Mm. So I wasn't using adult clubs. My driver doesn't fit that mold. No, it's my irons. No, and your shit. irons and everything. But else. my irons were dog shit. Yeah. Awful. I'm not shocked by that. Drove it pretty well. Putted okay. Dro irons just like right and left. But but you came. What what'd you come? So we ca we came tied last. Right. right? Me and Suka. We've had a history of that. Huh? We're get, getting a bit of a fucking reputation. Yes, we are getting a bit of a fucking reputation for for coming last. For context, we were like eighteen over the first day, second day. Fuck, would have been 20 something over, 22, right. 23, 24 over. I don't know, something like that. Mm. Wishing a fucking street at the top. They're like four under or yeah, five okay. under or yeah, something. Well, you wouldn't knew they were going to win the second they got paired together. It's becoming a bit of a two tiered system. And yeah. there's basically like. The haves and have nots. There's haves and have nots. And I feel like everyone has, or they've got a partner that have, except for like me and Shino and Harrigan and Suka. We were just like. You were the others. You we were, were the, the others. Yeah. But every year I seem to be in this predicament. <laughs> now, I could... Have you ever got close to winning it? Uh, me and Max were like winning after day one once and then fell apart at the seams. Um, and by fell apart at the seams, I mean Max did because Max would have been carrying me. You know. Yeah, I mean? right. Max. I, I just need to be... I need to put my hand up and start bearing... The, like, well, just bearing the brunt of responsibility, Tom. And the fact of the matter is... I could sit here and fucking whinge, and I will to mm. a point mm. that I never get a mushin, yeah. I never get a bushel, yeah. I never get a dawny, I never, never get, get someone, I never get a good player, yeah. and that's fine. I mean, no offense no, no, to you, Suka. It's it's fine, Tom. <laughs> it's fine, but the record, like, yeah, well, Suka didn't play that well <laughs> yesterday, and neither did I. But we, but we dug deep together. But you obviously groaned a little bit when you were paired with Suka, is what you tell. No, no, no. I didn't know what. Did Suka you exhale a little bit, like? Oh. No, because I was led to believe Suka was pretty good, and it, it listen. Well, then okay, when you started seeing him shank a couple, well, he like, was coming. Wait a minute, he was. Look, what the fuck? I don't want to fucking air his laundry to the world, but the kid was coming into day one a fucking hour's sleep, so it was sort of my cards were marked, <laughs> right? And that's fine, but you know, the record books show Tom that I've never had an elite partner, and that's fine, and that's fine. Right. But I'm also like, I think people would groan when they get me. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, it's not all about what how fucking other people are. Yeah, yeah. I think people would groan when they get me. And that's that's something I need to work yeah, on. Yeah, because you don't want to be the person someone goes, Ugh. I don't want to I wanna stop being the like the grown, grown guy. guy. <laughs> like I'm not the I'm not the grown guy, but I'm a grown guy for You're sure. You're definitely a grown guy. That's almost why it's not where like you and I what when we're paired together, there's at least a there's a meeting of groans where we're both like, I'm, I'm not, I'm groaning well, no, about our myself. Gro no, our groans, our groans, our groans cancel each other out. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Net zero groans. Net zero groans. And <laughs> that's sort of where you need to be, I think, as a groaner. Well, uh, to have a partner, right? Unless you're going to have someone who absolutely carries you, you want to yeah. have net zero groans and then just try and improve. But you, but also the record book show, Tom, that even if I tied for last year, after 36 holes of golf, there was a playoff. And I, the record would show I've never, I've never taken an L in like you eight years. You never want years. a spoon. Never want a spoon. So you sort of know, if, you, if, you, if you're a partner with me, that you're not going to see great golf, but you're going to see a lot of fight, a lot of heart. A lot of heart, yeah. Now, did you, there was a putt off for the... Yeah, oh yeah, there was a putt off. Have you got the video? There was a putt off. There you was a the fucking Dave. There was a fucking putt off. So how did the putt off work? Tied for last with who? So we did them. So the cards go in. Um, the the fucking scores are counted up. Is there it was back to back eighteens? It's eighteen holes. Yeah, I rest. mean Friday, Saturday. 18, yeah, 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 yeah. Tough. Um, there was some fucking early contention with the way the the cards had been marked. So there was contention there. We had to look for the error. It was a six point swing. Brings us back to a draw for last. And then the boys called for a playoff. In your favour, were you outright last? I was know. outright last by six strokes. I go, no, nah, that can't be right. Yeah, I can't. I know that's not right, and it wasn't. Uh, who was? Who? So who so I was just a clerical creative. Error. No, no, no. It was a clerical error. Okay. It was just like you put the score on the wrong line. Right. Does it make sense? Didn't carry the one. 
Well, yeah, basically. Mm. You, I mean, go along with that if you want. Because if you don't carry the one, the whole thing's the fucked. Whole thing right? falls apart. Now, I'm just trying to send this to Dave. I can't even remember what he's called in my phone. <laughs> it's that sort of day. I can't even get to WhatsApp. You're a problem. I used to struggle with that as well in terms of Dave's name in my phone. So I used to go looking for Dior Dave, but when the name was saved in my phone, you were probably just David Bloom or mm. Intern Dave. Probably the name I'm least called is David Bloom by yeah. everyone. Are you Dior even with your mates? No, I'm still Divs with my with my mates from school. Divs? Divs. I've never right. heard Divs in my life. No, no. Yeah. Where does that come from? That came from a friend and I. Is that like? Is that because you like doing division? <laughs> not at all. I'm not a maths guy. But my mate and I, when we were in like year six, just started call, calling each other our names backwards. So he was his name was Zach, so I called him Kaz, and I was Divad, which just got eventually changed to Divs. And that just kind of stuck for most of high school. But... It's that with the high school friends. It's Dave with some people. It's Dior with some others. It's a bit all over the place. Divad. Yeah. Just Did you get that video? Yeah. yeah. So it's let me set there. the scene, Tom. Putt off. Tricky putt. Like undulating as fuck green. So like it would, it was. And is it, is it like just quite, well, I mean, is it like I reckon one it, putt for you for glory? I reckon it was, I reckon it was 30 foot. But was it one putt yeah, for glory? Yeah, so one putt for glory. Yeah. Closest to the pin, I went, so, like, so we all had a putt. They, we flipped a fucking, we flipped a, um, a phone to who you could pick first and fourth or second and third. They picked second and third, so we went first. Sukas was awful. <laughs> Shino's was shocking as well. Yeah. And then Harrigan delivers a, a putt. Turn it up. A, a putt that I needed to get inside of to avoid coming last for the first time in my flog career. Okay, turn the volume up then on the TV. So I, I in like the fading light, Tom, it's like, I don't know, is it 4.30, is it 5 o'clock? Yeah, shades of Federer, Nadal, Wimbledon, fading this light. Is, this is Nadal beating Federer, 2008, I think it was. Like, you can't really see a thing. And you got to step up under the pump, 16 raucous barks, expecting you to fail. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of chatter at the there's start. You hear people just here. expect failure. Okay. But then. <laughs> oh, this is, where's he going? <laughs> Vapes out in force. Shank the shit yeah, yeah. He's gonna shank He's this. He's going so far right. He's going so far right. Yeah, of course I am, because I'm breeding the green, you fucking idiot. <laughs> Hold on, let him go. Oh. Oh. All right. Oh. Look at him. Look where oh. he started this. Look at this oh. part. Look at this part. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's yeah. very good. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the. That's probably the best part I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon. Yeah, part of the day didn't even go in the hole, mate. If it had gone in the hole, I was fucking hell, mate. That would have been. That what? That's one of the great parts all time. No, that's Did a great you see part. where I started that thing? Yeah, Did you see no, the speed on that? No, thing? that was the speed was really. Nice. It was. It was. It, it was, was only just ticking along. Yeah, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. And that's how you avoid coming last, Tom. That's how you do it. And so who came last? Harrigan and Shino. Sucked in. But you can't compete with that. No, part. you can't compete with that. Uh, do they get something for coming last? Well, you, like you called the lemon. It's not, you don't. You don't get anything. Well, do you get anything for winning? You get a cup. Okay. You get a cup. Nice. So Street's gone. Uh, he won the fucking, he cheated his way to the win again. At the, uh, um, at breaking the at yips. At the breaking the yips. So the hacker majors, obviously playing in a stack side. That's fine, but it was stack. Let's yeah. all admit yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then he comes with a flog. And it, it's not his fault that he got the best player by a country mob, but he did. But, yeah, but Mushin also got a good player in Street. And apparently Street said it was the best he's ever played in his life. So you take a pretty good golfer playing the best golf he's ever played in his life. With Mush and a very good golfer. Yeah. Like Is there handicaps? Yeah, there are handicaps. But I mean Ben Porter, who pretend like, you know, gives off this aura of him being like a math guy. I'm like, yeah, I think your handicapping's pretty fucking ordinary. Like the handicap I've got, me and Suka are like twelve over that. And the handicap they got, they're like fucking 12 under it. Yeah. So, like, what's the handicap here? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's... You're putting in a fish complaint? Well, I've, I've already voiced it to yeah, him. Okay, this isn't the first it. time he's hearing this. No. If he's listening to this. No. You've voiced I'm just, I'm just, I find it interesting that I always go over my handicap 
and the good players always go under theirs. I'm just, I'm just, I'm interested by mm. that. No, that Confused. Um, well, congratulations, Eddie. That was quite the part. Um, I did nothing on the weekend. You didn't, you didn't, you certainly didn't roll a putt like that. No. That's and by nothing, I just mean I was on full blown day to day care. Nothing crazy, you know, nothing to write home about. Yeah, no one cares. Nah. I almost fell into a pool at Evie's swim school. That would have been Fully dressed. <laughs> Fully dressed. I stepped on a mat. And did like, you get in the swim pool this week? No, thank Christ. That was Steph, to, Steph this week. Have, but you, have you got back in? Since? Yeah, I got in last week. Oh, you got in? Yeah, yeah. Okay. But so I'm you, fucking off it. So you're getting in? I hate it, but I don't. Ha- it's fun with Zoe. Do you just feel like there's urine? Nah, just a, it's it's urine. It's the fucking water. It's a it's an underground swimming school pool, so it's like hot, muggy, dank. Yeah, why are they always doing? With I those don't know, dude. I don't know. But before we get into some sport, which we're getting into a lot to talk about, D or Dave apparently Edward has a story of his time in Adelaide from the weekend that involves him. And uh, a gay bar and a patron of the gay bar won some. Mm. Well, I had a lovely weekend in Adelaide. Can now see why it is called Radelaide. I thought that was just a joke taking the piss out of how there's nothing no, there. No, I think it is a joke, buddy. But no, that's a fucking fun place. I'm keen to go back. Lots going on. Um, Friday night, we were at Mary's Poppin', which is a wonderful gay bar, which actually used to be the synagogue in Adelaide. That's yeah. where my mum's family, you know, used to go to observe their God. Right. And, uh, yeah, now it's a, you know, bright colours, sparkles, glitter, the whole nine yards. And we were there, me, Cassie, and a mate of hers, we were up in the smoking section uh, talking to these two dudes who we thought were a couple. And so we're like, whatever. And the one dude's like, all right, I need to get another drink. And I'm like, yeah, me too. He's like, all right, come, let's get a drink. We'll have a dance. And I was like, yeah, going down there, dancing with him. <laughs> it occurred to me quite quickly Ooh. that he, he probably wanted a bit more than just to have a boogie, which I was just in a good mood. I'm like, yeah, yeah, fucking whatever. Music's good. <laughs> um, and then I'm kind of trying to vocalize him on the dance. So I was like, hey, dude, I'm loving having a dance, but it's my girlfriend upstairs. So just wanted to make sure we're on the same page and whatever. Why did you feel the need to do this? Because he, was grabbing yeah, he kept crop. like, you know, coming towards me. He had a nice Long Island iced tea in his hand, which he kept like offering to me. And I'm like, yeah, I'll have a sip. Yeah, thanks. I'll have another sip. Um, Why are you having a sip of this random guy's drink? Because Long Island iced teas are expensive and I wanted to get drunk. That is so fucking ridiculous, Dave. He seemed like a nice You're guy. You're leading this gay man on in a gay I'm bar not. sharing drinks were, with were you. Were you sharing straw? Yeah, there was one straw going between the two of us. So you didn't, but you didn't need to use the straw. Well, I think the straw, it, it like the straw. I think the straw is very suggestive. But he he was holding it in his hand. I would have yeah. had to have taken it out of his hand and then poured it yeah, into yeah, exa- my mouth. Well, exactly. Yeah, exactly. So you were sucking his straw. I was sucking so his you straw. Were, yeah. were you looking at him while you sucked it? <laughs> I don't think like, I were was. You yeah, like, yeah, were you was, looking at like Because if you're up. looking into his eyes, sucking on his straw, that's while saying you something. you dance with him in a gay bar in Adelaide, shock horror, Dave. <laughs> he <laughs> might want you to suck his dick. Uh, yeah. Look, didn't there was a lot going on in my head at that time, but that wasn't one of the things I was thinking about. But anyway, I me. thought I cleared yeah. the air quite well with him. How did you and, do you it? Know, I think I said something like, hey, bro, you know, I'm enjoying myself here. Just want to let you know that is my girlfriend upstairs. So, like, just want to make sure we're on the same page. It was so awkward. I felt so awkward because I didn't want to be like. And then what did he? Did he pull his straw out of your mouth? Did you? <laughs> did you have another sip after that? Yeah, he kept. Well, no, 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 no. So, so that's what kind of happened. I he's, feel like just I saw perseverant. His, I saw his mood kind of change, but it almost seemed like he was still there trying to dance along just to like almost give me the idea that he was just there for the same reason I was, just to have a bit of fun. And then whatever. And so we danced for a bit. And then Cassie came back downstairs with her mate and this dude's partner. And Cassie's mate that we were with is, you know, one of the least heterosexual people I've met in my life. (laughs) Didn't, you know, didn't think that uh, she would give a second thought to a guy. And anyway, that dude that I was dancing with ended up dancing with Cassie for a bit and then dancing with Cassie's mate. And then they ended up like hooking up on the dance floor. And like Cassie and I were talking to this dude's, well, the person that this dude was with. And we were like, oh, that's so weird because our mate isn't into guys. And he's like, dude, that's also weird because my mate is not into girls. And so then they were just together on the dance floor and we were like to this dude, oh, like, I thought you guys were partners. And he was like, yeah, we are. But like, you know, this stuff always happens. And so I'm like, oh, can we maybe find you a dude? And he's like, no, I'm okay, just chilling. I'm confused. Dude, that was a fucking, there's a lot of- If if anyone else- Followed that, hats off to you. Yeah. 
But there was like this guy hooking up with this girl who doesn't like girls but likes guys, and this that was a that was a. That, I'm, it might have made sense to people. It didn't make sense to it was me. A bit, it was a bit of a soup. I know that people. I know that people were hooking up that shouldn't and, have been, and gay chicks were hooking up with each other. Yeah, essentially, straight people and gay people were hooking up with each other. No, no, all gay, gay guy, gay girl, hooking up with with each, each other. other, with each other, yeah. which is considered rare. I'm I sure so. it happens all the fucking time. But it was gay just don't, gay, don't gays and lesbians have beef? <laughs> you, have you wouldn't think that. so because there's no crossover. No, but it's more like... I've heard the beef. Yeah, I've heard that. I heard that. Actually. I don't well, know if it's true. Then that, that was like a handshake, you know, meeting in the middle. Yeah, like maybe, maybe that was. Maybe it was like beef. when the bra boys and the commentaries were shaking <laughs> during the race race <laughs> and Kobe Abbott and all that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe it's something like that. It could be sort of similar. Yeah, but anyway, maybe not. Now, maybe not. Should we talk some sport? Yeah, let's do yeah, that. Yeah, okay. Punters and dribblers, we are brought to you as always by the number one betting platform on planet Earth, and that's our good friends at Neds. Now, coupled with the fact that you can punt on any sport you want with the great Neds, uh, you can also particularly rugby league. Particularly rugby league. Like, Listen, I said I'd add that in. No, said so add that in. Anything you want, particularly rugby league. Same game, multis, rugby league variety. Ah, dude, <laughs> unbeatable. It's just. I was thinking it's about it. It's just so good. I was thinking about why Sango they're not. Multis are the greatest invention in the history of punting. But I, I was thinking about how, like, Easy. in America, same game multis on NFL and shit just aren't that fun. No, they're boring. You know what I mean? They're kind of lame where it's no, like any time touchdowns and, like, you know, like you can do them, but there's something about they rugby don't hit league. The same. They just rugby don't. league, same game multis are just. There's also something about with NFL, maybe like where not every player on the field is a chance of scoring, but in rugby league, you've just got it's a smorgasbord. Oh, well, everyone can score. Everyone. Um, so shout out to the same game, multi except shout Alex out Twal. to Neds, except Alex Twal uh, and Pat Carrigan, apparently. Has he never scored? I heard that. Paddy Cass. I don't think Paddy Cass has ever scored. Really? Okay. So you've got a bit of the Twal's about yeah, it. Yeah, I definitely know Twal. Paddy Cass, not sure. But anyway, you can also join our About Even, which is our betting show, no one betting show on planet Earth. You can join that private chat group, which is on the Neds app in groups. The secret passcode is Dribbler. Correct. No S, just Dribbler. Just Dribbler. Now, obviously, punters and dribblers. We like to have a punt. We like to have a bit of fun. Love a same game multi. Love Don't a same game multi. But we do it responsibly. And if you're going to have a punt, we encourage you to do it responsibly as well. You win some, you lose more. For free and confidential support, call the number on screen or visit the website. Now, before we get into the fact that our club is in trouble, Edward, uh, it is important to remind everyone that when we talk rugby league, we do it thanks to our good friends at KO. Now, were you one of the few human beings on this planet who don't have KO? If you don't have KO, you were not able to enjoy manly losing to the Titans, which I know many of you did enjoy because you let us know in the DMs. Thank you so much. You also wouldn't have been able to see the thrilling upset of Tigers over Penrith. And I don't You also what, wouldn't have seen the close game between the Raiders and the fucking You wouldn't have Dolphins. seen Jackie Boy White and crying on the field after the game. Which I was watching on my phone, on the bus, on the way back from golf. You wouldn't have seen you Sticky crying in the post-match. You can't, you can't do that anymore. You, when rugby league is happening, you're missing it. Yeah. When the game is changing and things are happening, yeah. you're not there to see it. You're not there to see it. You literally miss a whole day of rugby league if you don't have KO. Yep. Saturday as well, which is arguably the best day of the week. What's the Lord's Day? Of rugby league, you know what I mean. Like that's the that's rugby league as league as God intended. Mm. Super Saturday, can't watch it without KO. So make smart decisions. Now, clubs in a bit of turmoil. Yep, there's a bit going on. Yep, a bit going on. I knew we'd lose that game. <laughs> yeah, I knew we'd lose that. game. I just knew we'd lose. No, I knew we'd lose that game. You know what? You know what that was? That was uh, shout out to Lady Gaga. That was us putting on our p -p -p poker faces and being optimistic. But I said to the boys, like on the on the bus on the way home, I go, "We'll lose tonight, hundred percent." I just knew it. You, there's there if you follow a club, if you follow as, as passionately as Man work, or if you follow a club like Manly and you, and you love it, and you love the club, you they they give off a vibe that goes out into the ether that you can like it's, pheromones it's like pheromones it's like wiping like a wipe on sex wipe yeah, in a performance truck pheromones that makes women just want to fucking jump on it's like that but in a you know, i know sense. they're gonna fucking play we that. started quite well and there was one where sabo scored and Olakawatu. you know what 
we lost though, right? Why Ruben Gag doesn't play fullback midway through that game if you realise that fucking KO Weeks isn't working? Like, put Ruben to fullback. Everyone's well, like, well, yeah, Yo, you guys still suck without Tommy. I'll remind you, last year without Tommy and Ruben at fullback, we actually were fucking going fine. We were going well. So I would prefer to see Ruben at fucking fullback and bring KO on as like a give him some time to learn the game, come off the bench. I don't know, but well, it's confusing me, Tom, because Ruben Garrick ripped and teared there last year. Yeah, and so that's why to the point where other clubs were trying to buy him as a fullback. Or is it always, or did they only do that because we don't have another center? There was nowhere to, there was no one to. Couldn't you put KO at center? It's pretty small. Yeah, fuck, I don't know. Bring someone up. Um... But some problems, buddy. Uh, now, I don't know how much to read into this Schuster drama we have in our hands, but a drama it is because Cherry chipped him. And, and, then now, they're, and now, they're pun- now he's punching, he's punching on it training, which usually you're like, whatever, that's just the boys fucking, you know, feeling each other out. But, but it's, then it's, also... It's, it's, it's when you stack them in a line. Yes, but then also the former, like, the former Pathways manager, see that? Christy Fulton's come out and been like... He needs to fucking grow up. He's got too many hangers on. He's not. Wasn't she fired? Yes. So that's what I mean. You got a grain of salt all this shit. Mm. But it's not great. And then you hear, and I don't want to say it out loud for fear of it happening. But there's whispers, Eddie, that, and they're looking to sign a halfback. I thought that was happened. They, it's not confirmed yet. But it is. I fucking hope not. This Mate, is, the way the way it the way it read in the fucking that article. Was I know, like, but it was, that's it's it the fucking men's complete. women's weekly, dude. It can fucking listen. Not that Phil Gould hasn't lied to the Australian people. Phil, before, that's all but he, he does. tweeted. He tweeted saying he's, he's he hasn't heard a thing about it. No bullshit. I don't fucking believe. Yeah, that. but I want to believe. He said that. he never fucking met up with Serrano in his life. They're not looking at him signed for the next week. Like yeah. he talks shit. And I that's know. Fine. I know. But I'm I hoping we're not we're not fucking taking Phil Gould's word to sign. And again, not on Kyle Flanagan, the man, who I'm sure is a nice guy. But when you're looking at a club and going, what are, what are we doing? We've what? got Josh Schuster on 800 grand, who apparently is fucking like, you know, not having a real crack. And then we're going to bring in a guy who's been let go from the Roosters and is about to get, low, get let go from the Bulldogs, has been dropped for a fucking 34-year-old Josh the Grub Reynolds. Who I'm a big fan of. Love Josh Reynolds. But, All I'm saying is getting Josh, dropped for a but, 35 year old. Josh's Josh's at retirement age in rugby league. Terms. Yeah, well, he was given a training trial, and he's getting dropped for all these. And then now Manly want to sign him, and I know that his dad had nothing to do with it. Shane Flanagan, who I wouldn't, I, I, I like being there as a coach, but like, we get. It's just all a bit like what the fuck. It's all a bit what the fuck, and if you think about it like this. So you sign Aaron Woods and let go of apparently two big throbbing upcomers. Sure, okay, it's it's a weird one, but like I'll 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 go with it. Faith in the coach, faith in the coach. Then Schuster, who's apparently on eight hundred grand a year, which just uh, just that's, not going up to nine hundred. And then you go, that's an unfair. You go, well, hang on, that can't be right, is it? Like, is that fair? Well, I was like, that's Mayo, and then that everyone's like, like a, no, I'm that seems like that. a lot of money. Seems like a lot of money. And now you're hearing that he's punching on. And that his fucking attitude's got to change. And now, all of a sudden, we're signing a half. And they're like, oh, it's back up for Cherry Evans. And I'm like, is it? Is it back up for Cherry Evans? Is it Cherry up? seems to be going all right to me. Well, it's like for in origin. So we're signing him, what, just for, we're signing Kyle signing Flanagan for origin? just for origin period? Does that scream to you that our $900,000 half has got no chance of coming back? Would in the it? immediate future? Or is it that he's like, because... If 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 you're gonna turn it around reeks, this it reeks, Schuster shit show, it reeks of him not coming back because then Schuster and Cooper John should be there, so it's fine. It's a, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Or you can, or, or you got Ko Weeks who could, who could do a job in the halves. So so I don't know why we need now need another one. Why do we need one? When you think about one? the playmakers that Manly's let go over the years, Nico Hines, Appy Karasau, Kieran Foran, Clint Gutherson. All those motherfuckers could do a job. Yeah, they could do a job. And Nico Hines was devastated when we got when we let him go. Yeah. Well, we didn't. No, someone we did. well, we wouldn't have. Someone with the well, someone with your initials did. That's not fair to fucking make that. A, don't don't bring me into it. Well, someone with your initials that's, did. That's all I'm saying. That's not my fault. No, but fault. I'm, I'm, it's not your fault, Tom. But it is what it is. 
Someone with your initials did. Not you. No, someone. mate. Initials don't make it the man. <laughs> no, I didn't do it. No. But it's an unfortunate coincidence. <laughs> Very unfortunate. <laughs> and I, what's even more unfortunate is that we don't have the same body types. No, you don't. Same hairline. And he looks younger than you, even yeah. though he's way older. <laughs> That's not fair. He looks younger than me. Even yeah, though well, he's he looks older. younger than you. You look older. Fuck. I look young and fresh. You don't look fresh. I look young and fresh, dude. You look baggy. I do. I am baggy. That's just the reality <laughs> there, right? I think that's more of a sleep thing, but I'm young and fresh. I'm young. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like the fresh food people. I'm Woolworths. You're Franklin's. Well, now defunct. Yeah. Which isn't great. RIP. Uh, so, basically, punters and dribblers, <clears throat> we are in a state of confusion. Flux. No, uh, stress, dude. Stress. What the fuck is going on? We lose the time. I'll tell you what. We've got injuries. I I was sitting there with the boys on the weekend watching the Titans game, like even before the game had started, going, I still can't quite work out how we're second. Like it's it's almost like there's been a glitch in the math. Yeah, well, I mean, look, I can I can update you. We're not now. <laughs> I can update you. Um, what are we now? Fifth, sixth, or seventh? Sixth. Or eighth? Sixth. Yeah. Okay. Sixth. It's because of the log jam. Points, 14 for Broncos, 12 Sharks, 12 Rabbitohs, 12 Storm, 12... Yeah, the fact we're even on... Tw- like, the fact we're on 11 is shocking. It's a tight competition this year. Fucking Panthers hell. losing help, you boys. Mm. Sixth. Nice. It's a nice spot. I'll take six. I'll take six and all day, every day. I just want to know what's going on. Yeah, I did. I'm, I just want to know what's going I'm on. I'm concerned. I'm a little concerned about what's going on at the club. Do you? Is there? Is I'm like, a little concerned. Are you? Is there a world where you just ignore all this shit that goes on in the in the papers, or do, or do you? Or do you? The Schuster thing's hard to ignore. The fucking. But should they be saying something? Who man? The club. Well, they said something. I think. I think Sebes, coach Tony Sebes. He said, oh, it wasn't that big of a deal, the punch on. Uh, but Cherry was like, you know, again, unless I'm, unless I'm reading some of the most absurd misquoted articles that are like presenting Ch- Cherry Evans' words in a way that I have, like, am, you know. Get them up. Well, can you get, get up? Get up that quote that you, that you read out to me the other day. And I was like, that can't be. That was just one thing on the Daily Telegraph website, right? So it was like. Was this Buzz Rothfield saying about the haircuts? No. The haircuts? Yeah, so this is what Buzz said about the incident. He goes, they've got this game. It's serious kindergarten stuff. Bit of fun that went wrong. If you turn up to Manly with a bad haircut, you get clipped behind the ears. You sort of get a little slap behind the head. That's a little tradition. But Schuster slapped him too hard. Madison reacted badly. And the pair exchanged punches. Um, Josh Allier had to step in and break it up. But then Seabold said as well of it that, as far as I'm concerned, it was a non-event. Well, if that's all it was, if that's all it was, I don't. No, that's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm. That makes me feel a lot better. Certainly from a punch-up perspective, I can. You can see, like, if you're having a bit of a bad day, or can you get fucking? If people are giving you shit about your haircut, but you were really proud of it walking into the club, and now you're a bit upset about it because everyone's teasing you. But you. so, did, did did Schuster get the clip, or did the other? No, no, no. It? Schuster clipped. Okay, well, let's find this guy's haircut. Maybe this is completely Schuster warranted. Schuster went bang. There is nothing more annoying though than when someone smacks you around the head for no Especially reason. Especially if you're feeling a bit vulnerable about your shit haircut, which you thought was cool. But also if you're if it's like a guy who is, you know, smell like getting high on his own supply a little bit around the club. Like if there's a bit of a perception with Schuster right now where it's like he's not working that hard, he's not doing this sort of shit, and you know, he comes and clips you up, maybe that pisses you off even more. Maybe. But I need to see the haircut to know whether Josh is being unfairly tarnished here. Because there's every chance he, he is. Yeah. I'd be... I, I mean, I wouldn't be shocked if this is an awful haircut we're about to see. Oh, I'd be shocked if Dio, Dior can find it. It was Ryan Madison's brother. Yeah, so Dean Madison, this is uh, from his Instagram story, which looks like a pretty straight up and down haircut. Okay, wow. I mean, especially when you sit alongside Schuster's. So maybe he's got the shits because he's like, what's wrong with this? What's wrong with this haircut? That's just a classic fade. That's a Rugby League 101 haircut. That's a, that's, a, that's a one becoming a two, becoming a three, becoming Fade, a trim. Yeah. You know, you look at Lockie Ilias, that reminds you of Lockie Ilias' haircut, for example. I, wouldn't even, I would say less, 
less fady than an earlier season. But then you look at Schuster, who is faded almost within an inch of his life to where it's a bit like top decky. No, well, he is. He's more of your military top deck yes. sort of look. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Full what, metal jacket. What's that haircut called? I mean, it is still a fade. But it's just it's a abrupt fade. No, it's faded, but it's it's it's. A, I think that's got high a high top. A high, uh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. It's not a high top, but I'm not a hairdresser, Tom. But you, no. But you were, so you should know that. Well, I wasn't a hairdresser. I was a man that certainly charged money to cut hair at school. Like, do you ever Google hairstyles? No. You Harry don't. Styles, though. <laughs> now, there's nothing wrong with. There's that. nothing wrong with that haircut. Yeah, get jo- get Josh's up. What's his gram? Josh Schuster. Maybe he's taking it down. That's not him. That's not him. Oh, yeah. Here we go. No. No? Followed by Bloke. Schuster Preeti Star. Did you say he followed? Oh, right. That would probably just be a mistake from Kempi, I'd say, dude. Yeah, I think. Um, That's not. That's a kid. That on the left, that's not young Schuster. No, that's it is. 340 that's 300 him. followers. Yeah, that's but I just I think he just ago. doesn't post. He last posted 300 weeks ago. Oh, so that actually is his. He just doesn't. Nah. Maybe. Mate, I've, I've yarned. He's just taken his Instagram down. We've yarned him on Instagram before. It's not fucking it. Anyway, whatever. That haircut ain't fucking bad from Ryan Madison's brother. No, it's not. And it's as simple as that. I can't search. So, you know, maybe that does give an indication as to why he G'd up. She's just slapping you on the back of the head. Look, the, what you tell me what can put this to bed, Tom? All this all this fucking nonsense? All this all I, this I think he has taken his Instagram down. Yeah, we just yeah, he we just, just, he just sees that. Oh, Tom's probably said that four times. Which is fine. But I mean, at some point, you do need to hear me. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> You need to listen at some uh, point. Yeah, just yeah. confirming that. No, yeah. Okay. Okay. No, uh, As confirmed by me three thousand times. times. Well, I deal in facts and evidence and uh, logic. Oh, well, yeah. Well, that's not so true. Listen, I don't know about that. Listen. The, the, uh, this is what can happen, Tom. This is what can happen. Tommy can come back fitter than ever and rip. Garrett goes back to the wing and does a job. A great job. Mm-hmm. Stubby Cooler comes back and rips in for the fucking club. Yep. For his team, for the Peninsula. Brad Parker comes back and starts folding cunts in half, mm. proving again that he's the strongest man in the comp. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Kay Wex coming off the bench at 14, doing a goddamn job. Yep. Josh Schuster going, yeah, I threw hands at fucking training. But who gives a fuck? We're all young alphas, and that's what happens from time to time. But guess what? I'm fit, and I'm about to play the best rugby league I've ever yeah. played in my life. I'm about, I need to see Josh doing sand hills. Every day, nonstop. I want to see him back with Roger Fabray. Yeah, pounding himself. I need fitness, though. I need, like, I need ungodly fitness. It, like, you almost need to have something inserted where, like, if anything, anything naughty comes within, like, six feet of his mouth, yep. he gets crash tackled. And that's it. That's all. That's what you got to do. Can't you put, like, um, some sort of, like, device... You like, can put like a, a mask over him, like yeah. a shock collar. And we, uh, you open it to feed him. Yeah, like a little cage with a, like a little yeah. like, like you like a bird cage door, yeah. like, or you know like the I? prison cell things where you slide it across and yeah. put the meal in. Yeah, and that's then, right. Yeah, that's right. Open up, bang. Give him a slide a, it back. What about just a, the, a juice cleanse diet, a liquid diet? <laughs> put him on that fucking then celery juice like, diet, mate. Put a straw into his mouth. He shit all his weight out. Yeah, piece of piss. And then do sand hills. And then come back and rip and tear for the club. Then you got Jake snapping people yeah. in half. Craig um, becoming the best nine of all time. Yeah, even though yeah, he's not yeah. a nine. Well, well I, I, listen, I also want to see Gordon Chan come, Tom. Just, a, I just want to see him. I just want to have a look at him. Like I need to have a look at this potential new toy. Did you see Pop Four and after the game on the weekend? So just like held together with tape, just hobbling around. I'm like, you're a tough cunt. Yeah, you're a tough cunt. We could have done with you. Like, you are so tough. We could have done with you. He was, it literally looked like he had been, his limbs were taped Dude, on. he had his knees taped. Apparently, he was going through some fucking incredible, like, pain in his, one of his toes, shoulders he's had in. Like, the man's just a fucking, he's a workhorse. Could have done with him. Could have done with him. Could have done with him. He's a job doer. Kids Does a job. Could have done with him, dude. And then you hear that we fucked him off. 
and now we're potentially bringing in Kyle Flanagan, and you just I, you just I, ask I just, yourself, I just can't with the Kyle Flanagan stuff. Like I just can't, like I just can't. But also, Seabold Woods Flanagan. But also, if you if you're gonna fuck off, if you're gonna fuck off foreign, because but then but then buy Cooper Johns. It's like. Did you well, need- they're becoming less. So you go, you get Cooper at. A, uh, I think Cooper was even semi train and trial. So it was like you're getting Cooper. Yeah, for what is Kyle going to cost? Fuck all. Apparently, dogs are paying it. Like a lot of that dogs just want to get rid of him, which is a great but, sign but for Foz us. But Foz wouldn't be on March. Uh, no, but he was probably getting more. He's probably getting more to go to the Titans and probably a longer deal. Because Schuster, from all reports, was like five eight or fucking nothing. Um, Foreign apparently on four hundred thousand per year, which is a very nice deal for Pop. And to be honest, actually, it's a great deal for the Titans. It's a great deal for everyone, really. I think. I think foreign could be getting more. Is what I'm saying. Tigers are probably giving two mil right now, even though they did win. Congratulations. Which we'll get to. Uh, listen, watch this space, punters and dribblers. Hey, listen, I'm confident against the Broncos. Watch this space, but I'm confident. But there's just some starting to be some decisions. I'm a little bit like, what's going on? A bit I too much it. smoke and noise and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bit too much noise coming out. Lot, That's what I'm like. A we're a bit too noisy. It's too noisy for my. Too own. noisy. We need to be quiet. You got to be, and the thing was, Tom, coming into the season, we were fucking quiet as church mouse. Yeah, is a church mouse quiet? Church mice. Yes, quiet as a church mouse. Mouses. Mm, mice. <laughs> mouses. You don't say the plural of mice as mouses. Yeah, you I know. say mice. I don't know that you did. That's I said okay. mouses. I know. I meant mice. Okay. But uh, again, quiet as church mouses because. At the start of the season, no one was fucking paying attention to us. People even forgot we like we existed as a club. We weren't chatted about. No We're fucking under the radar. The, nothing in the paper. Champions. Anthony Sebo could do their own. Like no one was even talking about anything. Really, we won the preseason comp. Which listen, is it that important? No, not no, really. It's not. But did we get the dub? Yeah, we did. And it's as simple as that. And then we win it. We start winning a couple of games, a couple of losses, but a couple of wins. Like how long ago does that Melbourne win seem? Decades. Seems like it seems like half my life ago. Yeah. To be honest. Yep. And I think it was a couple of weeks ago, Tom. Yeah, it was. We did, well, we went Melbourne win, Tigers win, Titans loss. I don't know. It's just there's too there, much noise, dude. Way too much noise in the last couple of weeks, and it's fucking pissing me off. Yeah. That's all that I need to say about that. Yeah. So Tom needs to say about that. Yep. I don't know about you, Eddie, but the moment of the round this week. <laughs> What do you think the moment, and it doesn't need to be even on field, just the moment of the round was? You don't know. I'm just. I'm interested to know. And maybe you've been away, you know, ripping and tearing, so maybe you missed it. Probably Ricky Stewart's press conference that I heard. If I had to pick a moment of the yeah. round for me, yeah, he was sticky. And Dude, I fucking love Ricky Stewart, bro. I love like he is such an ornament. Yeah, he's he good is gear. such an. He is such good gear, dude. Like. Like him basically in fucking in tears. Was I heard on the radio? Was he crying? No, he was fucking yeah, yeah, crying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought he, he was might in have been. tears. Like you could hear when he was saying, "Am I pissed off? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm pissed <laughs> off. I'm pissed off." Like it's just, it's just such raw, unbridled passion. Yeah, dude. And I, I can't help but absolutely fucking love it. The rugby league world holding their collective breaths as they just see such a honest and rich outpouring of emotion sticky just pissed off i get it the club's upset sticky's upset jack's upset would well, yeah, but jack was jack's crying post game as well yeah, i know i know but jack's been made made it. he's have to he's had to make a tough decision he's had to make a tough decision for himself and his family well, he's been he's been at the club a long time okay 14 he just, years he just needs a change he just needs a change and that's fine and he understands it yep but he's pissed off <laughs> fucking ropeable yeah and what's his what's his main bugbear that, that it's dragged through the media? Uh, that yeah, that like Jack's got a sign so far out, so that this whole media thing happens. But I was listening to the Sunday fucking rub down or whatever it's called. Sunday hand job. The sun, yeah, <laughs> yeah. The Sunday finger bass <laughs> on triple on triple M. The Sunday wristy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Sunday suck. <laughs> 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 on the way home, and James Hooper made a good point. He was like, "Listen, you could have an out of season." 
um, trade window. But he's like, if his contract comes up next year and he hasn't re-signed, the media speculation throughout the year is going to be as bad as it is now, if not more palpable. Like, yeah. you can't get away from... The, the, the circus. The circus. The circus, there's nothing you can do to lessen the circus. Like, the speculation will be rife the whole time. Yeah, the circus cometh to town every year, whether you like it or not. He was like, they would get us... Okay, so he's re-signed now. What round are we? Fucking round nine. Like, comes out, cries, has a great fucking game, scores a try, wins the game, perfect. People move on now, right? We'll go to the Rabbitohs at the end of the year, but people move on for the rest of the year. If he doesn't say anything, it's talked about every fucking week from mm. now to the rest of the season. Yeah. That's what they were saying on the Sunday suck. And I, <laughs> I, I, tend to, I tend to agree with that. I tend to agree with that. So you can be pissed off. You can be pissed off as Ricky saying the system's got to change, but like, would it? You can't stop the media. The media are animals. Yeah. They live for this shit. And well, so do the punter and the dribbler. Yeah, they exactly. fucking live for it so too. It keeps the game fucking going. 100%. That's why, that's why the game's as big as it's ever been. Mm. It's because of the media circus. Well, it's a reason. Obviously, the footy's been pretty good, mate. Footy's been fucking great, mate. But, but like... The players been doing their part. Oh, yeah. The players are playing their part, mate. The congested ladder. You know, yeah, wins you and look. losses, upsets. Yep. Uh, but besides that, the journos play a pivotal role in in keeping us all fucking interested. Whereas rugby union, you got to go to page fucking thirteen. But pass the crosswords, that, as Gordy would say. So that Hamish McLaughlin's doing his fucking McLaughlin McClellan. Hamish McLennan. 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 Oh, did you, mate? They were blowing again. <laughs> Sunday suck, punters and dribblers is good stuff. Yeah. James Graham was fucking ropeable yesterday because um, Hamish McLennan or whatever mm. his name is was saying that uh, rugby le- rugby union's way tougher than rugby league because like of, of scrums Scru- and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, James yeah. is going, that's just, that's fucking ridiculous. It's <laughs> funny though. You think leagueies are playing into the hands a little bit yeah, of, yeah, yeah. of fucking Mate, they were, Jack they were, they were blowing up, Mate. Like, <laughs> absolutely. He's like, who who want the, who the fuck wants to go down to the park and do a scrum? Like, who wants to? Do, I mean, fair dinkum. Who wants to do that? God, it was funny. That's good shit, dude. Yeah, I was absolutely loving it. But he's been lipping up. He's been lipping up hard. He's been doing his bit. Yeah. I didn't realise that he was a PVL equivalent. He's the chairman. He's not the CEO. Same shit. But I'm saying... But he's the No, head. but because yeah, he's the yeah. chairman, he's obviously looked at PVL and gone, I'm going to just take a leaf out of his book. Yeah, just talk. Just talk shit, dude. Just talk shit. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's all you got to do. And that's not to say that's all that our great friend PVL does, but it's certainly... But PVL's good at thing. it. Yeah, he's great at it. He's a pot stirrer. Remember how much he used to give it to the little scaredy cat Gil? Yes. Whose penis fell off? And, and uh, a regular long, you know what I mean? Well, it's funny, you know, they had, uh, it's like they've, they've got a new Gil now. Who's the new Gil? Is he scared too? There's Gillen and this guy's Dylan, I think. Yeah, Andrew Dylan. And apparently I was just reading. Is he a scaredy cat? Get him up. I wouldn't mind yeah. having a fucking so gander. They spent like, you know, a million dollars or whatever in some like finding, you know, a new CEO or whatever, probably consulting firm, shit like that. And it turns out this dude had worked at the AFL like with Gil McLaughlin and then they just chose They him. usually like to hire with him. He looks like uh, a, a Gillen from Wish. That is Wish Gillen. Look at that. Dylan is Wish Gillen. <laughs> he, like, if you showed me a lineup of people and said... This guy's a wish. He's a he's a wish Gillen, but he's also looks super AFL. Pick one. I'd pick him. Yep. Now he might be a wonderful human being. I'm just uh, saying you, he looks. But like, he's definitely. He looks like he is involved in the AFL. Don't you yes. reckon? No, he definitely does. He looks Victorian. I don't even know if he is, but he looks Victorian. Certainly, he gives you that feeling. I can I be honest with you, Tom? Yeah. I watched the Manly game on the weekend. Obviously, top to bottom. And then I needed a breather from mm. rugby league just yeah. for a second. Yeah, you so, can be forgiven for not wanting to watch that game. So I knew the Tigers were, uh, I knew the Tigers won, but I got home yesterday. Ella wasn't back yet. Into bed, propped up. Propped you up. Yeah. Propped myself up. KO on, mini on, Tigers Panthers game. I'm like, I gotta, I gotta get, I gotta get into this thing here. I was like, I don't know. It was probably because I'd had a couple of big nights. But when they won, I felt things. I was going like for I it. was. I was like, 
I was like, this is this is great yes. stuff. Yeah. Like seeing how fucking pumped they were. Yes, they were pumped. Made me feel things. I, nice things. I thoroughly I didn't enjoy the game. The game was a bludge up, but like it was well, it was pouring rain. It was pouring rain and it was defense heavy. Um, but I was happy for the Tigers. They did, you know, like they were fucking up. As in they were, it was basically the the Panthers on the attack for like the final few minutes. And it was just like, oh my God. Um, but I mean. Oh, and then that they scored that try, but it was pushed, uh, brought back because. Peachy pushed. Peachy uh, yeah. pushed him the back. Yeah. I, but I was, I was, all, okay. They, like I was happy for the Tigers, but there was also a sick part of me that was like, fuck, I would also equally get off on seeing him get done on the bell. Oh, they're sick out The sick, are. like, yeah, the, yeah, really, the guy, the the, guy that the wants ruthless, to see the world burn. The ruthless asshole in me was like, I would love to see the Panthers score a try, like, on the fucking bell, and it'd just be like, this is so gut-wrenching, but also, like, you can't look away. Can't look away. It's a big win. It's huge. It is, but I wonder whether it's, like, I mean, who, who have they got next? Um, they they got, don't have a great draw, I don't think. They got dragons. Oh, tell a lie. Tell they a could lie. beat the dragons. It's a DMC bowl next week. What a way to follow it off in mag- magic round. I'm gonna br- I'm gonna brush off the old like how to bet on a DMC. Who made that? Uh Liam Brennan. Yeah, and I'm gonna bet heavy into that responsibly. Yes, but you know what I mean. Yeah, but we're gonna have to rabbits, cowboys, uh, t- raiders, titans, storm. By Cowboys. Cowboys, I guess, see, they always, they like doing these bloody back-to-back is pretty close. Cowboys suck. Cowboys suck. Cowboys suck. Dude, they got so fucking pumped. They suck. Like, they're on, they're an awful rugby league side now. Yeah. In the, in, in a matter of, they were so close to the grand final last year. And what's changed? Have they lost anyone or gained anyone? Or is it exactly the same side? Uh, it's exactly the same side. Oh, they've probably lost like no one of note they've lost. They haven't lost anyone of note. They haven't lost anyone of note. Isn't that wild? That's crazy to me that that's possible. Yeah. That you can go from almost making the grand final to second last without losing anyone. Nothing's changed. Um, did, did Josh Reynolds get in some fucking heat uh, with referees or some shit? Mm, yeah. Because I saw something and I was like, I saw video footage of him like geeing up, blood pissing out his mouth. And I was like, I didn't realise how much I like yearned nostalgically for Grub Reynolds to be back being a Grub. It's like pre-COVID nostalgia. Have we got a Grub currently getting around? A current grub. Obviously, grub's playing, and obviously, he's replaced Kyle Flanagan, and obviously, he's doing a job. But do, are we living in an era where there's a bit of dearth of grubs? Yeah, like, yeah. Because that would be my immediate thought. Yeah. Victor Radley's got a bit of grub in him. Victor Radley's probably... But not heaps of grub. He does, like, he's, he's more like high tackle grub, not mm. like a I'll grab your sack grub. Yeah, All see, right, I like... Up. Same with, like, Hargraves and a few others. They're not in the same league as, like, your Ennis and your Reynolds. No, yeah, no. see, I'd, I'd like to see some more some more squirrel grabs, yeah. more nut stuff. Nut stuff. Uh, is this him, Gene, up? Yeah, this is the video, yeah. Get it up. What a first half indeed. Fox League, Sunday afternoon... Canterbury. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that fucking. Go away. You're not speaking to you for the rest of the game. Can you take that 10 minutes now to get working out? Yeah. Comes to me again about anything. He goes. Sorry about that, man. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Good on your road. Nice, Grubby. That's what you need. I wonder what he said. Oh, oh is he still giving him lip? Press play. No, I think he just looked over. No, he just had a look. 
Oh, I already oh, said something. He might have said something. I'm pretty sure he was saying that it was a bullshit call. He was just saying like bullshit, bullshit, and then the ref was like, "Nah, over here, oh, over okay. with me." Yeah, it didn't seem like Grub seems like a mature Grub these days. Like he's definitely a mature Grub. 100%. That doesn't mean, he, but like, so you know, he's not going to start calling him like a fucking cheat, right? He's just no, like, he's not old school Grub. Not no. that he ever would have said that anyway. Ah, I don't know. He might have been his more fiery but old school days. Grub. It's. F- it's funny because Mick Ennis was such a grub, and then he retired, and now he's an analyst, and you forget he was a grub at all. Mm, you do, but he was a he was a great rugby league grub. Yeah, and I, 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 like we are, who was considered the greatest of all the rugby league grubs? Would you say? I mean, is Hopper a grub, or is he sort of like? Is he sort of is butt stuff grubby, or is that just is that a different category? I think butt stuff is grubby, but he also parlayed butt stuff into like fucking. I'm pretty sure he made Keith Galloway bleed out of the ears. That was his last act of rugby league football in the professional game. Would that be considered dirty play as opposed to grubby play? Yeah, but I'm wondering whether he... Because they're not the same thing. No, they're not. But if you mix a man... Like, if you... I guess what sort of cocktail are you making if you mix violence and, and butt stuff? Do you get the grub? Or is it like... Is that just maybe like a criminal? <laughs> no, I don't. I think grub, you've got to have a bit of, you've got to chirp as well. And you've got to be annoying. Yeah. So you've got to niggle. Yeah. Like you've got to go, you've got to, you've got to get into players' heads mm. either through words or through just fucking annoying tiddly little shit. Yeah. Just like knocking the ball out yeah, of your hands yeah, or yeah. constantly. Child's play sort of Child's stuff. play stuff. Keep stomping on his boots. Yeah. Like that sort of really Head annoying into the ground, shit. Forearm yeah, yeah. Work. Just and just what chir- about um, chirping some cunt? Or Josh Maguire. Mm. Yeah, I think he's he I think he's pretty up there. We went through his rap sheet at one point. That was fucking ridiculous. He yeah, that's a grubby man right yeah. there. Some people saying like Justin Hodges as well. Yeah, Hodge was a grub. He was a fucking grub. Hundred percent. Hodge was. was as grubby as it gets. Getting a bit back, Mundine. Yeah, it was like not before my time, but he mm. was like. Too young for me to realise he was, who was before, a great He rubbery. was before our time. Yes, yes. I mean, we saw him play, but... But not, not much. Um, look, I'm happy with Hodges, and I'm happy with Maguire. Is Hopper on that list? Do people call him grubby, or is he not? What list are you reading? James, I'm just looking at a few different posts and stuff from other forums and stuff. James Maloney? No. Mentioned a few times. Eh. Grub. James Maloney. Maybe he's a bit like niggly. Mm. He, nah, but you see, you can be niggly. It doesn't mean you're grubby. No. But a grub will niggle. Yes. But nigglers aren't necessarily grubs. Correct, Eddie. <laughs> Send them in, punters and drillers. Send in yeah. your grubs. Send in your great grubs in rugby league. Yeah. Send in your great grubs. Because I know we're missing some, but I'm not in the state to give a fuck about that. No. I'm playing hurt over here. You are. You're doing your goddamn best. And I'm doing my absolute best. But the dogs did beat the Dragons, so shout out. And look, I don't want to call out the Mad Dragon, but I think it could be because his video wasn't up to scratch this week. It was, it was below par for what for what I see. And they only lost two by two points. So you got to ask yourself the question. Could he have made a difference? Could he have done a job? Probably. Um, Roosters beat the Warriors. Cool, don't care. Tigers, manly. I heard some bloke put fifty grand or a hundred grand on the Roosters one to twelve. Oh, <laughs> oh. said that on the radio. Oh, check the score. I was like, oh dear. I mean, you got to be a sick puppy to throw that much on. Hey, or not really. You just got to be rich as fuck. We just got to have a heap, of heap of money. I saw um, something similar where someone put nine hundred and ninety-five bucks on Penrith at a dollar mm. ten to win like ninety dollars. Head to head, and he lost. Oh, again, you just a Penrith Tigers game. You like that's a dangerous in the pouring one, rain. Yeah, <laughs> that's um, now there have been calls, Edward. Yes, mate. I believe from Frederico Fitler of Better Win the Fucking Series fame. He's basically like. Knights are got to put Ponga back to fullback. What the fuck are they doing? Did he miss ten tackles and ten make eleven? I think he made yeah, missed ten, made eleven. Yeah, that's what I heard. It's not working. It's just not working. It's not working at all. That's a lot. Ten's a lot. Ten's a lot. Ten's ten, a, ten ten's ain't a fuck, nothing, is ten's it? Ten's a fuckload. Okay, made 13, missed eight, and two ineffective. 56%. Yeah, it's not great, is it? 
So what would they do with Lockie Miller? I don't know. I think they were saying Freddie was like, put him on the wing, put him on the bench. Why is – so where, why was Freddie asked about this? Well, he has a fucking job on Channel 9. Yeah, right. Where he like gets paid to give his opinion on rugby league. Mm. So like they give him money right. in exchange for that money. He gives an he opinion. He gives the, his opinion on rugby league. Right. And then that's broadcast – on television and it's like beamed but out. But I'm just confused because like captain of the state, I wouldn't be helping out the opposition. You know what I mean? Coach of the state. You coach of the state. You wouldn't want him going back to fucking, I'd rather him stay in the halves. Yeah, I and know. And tackles so that if he was to go into origin, maybe he's not as sharp between the ears as he otherwise could be. But Eddie, what you've got to realise is that maybe Freddie knows that positional upheaval and turmoil ultimately not good for Ponga generally. So even if you were to start throwing doubt out there, chum the waters of doubt. You think he's chumming? I feel like he could be chumming the water with doubt. I hope he's chumming the water with doubt because it is May now, punters and dribblers. And in May, on May 31st, to be specific, game one, Adelaide, lot on the line. He got invited into a box for game one if we want to go to Adelaide. Who with? He's a state cricketer and... Former Sydney Sixer, Ben Menenti. We're coming. <laughs> hey, Ben, we're coming. Put the beers on ice, brah. We're not saying no to that. No, I don't think so. That would be stupid. That would be silly. We go back to Rattelaide. We get in the box. Yeah. And we fucking boy the boys. Boy the boys. Because don't forget, Tom, that you and I are boyers of boys. Yeah. And the state needs us now more than ever. Because if we don't win that game one, I give you the fucking idea. We're no, we're, fuck not, we're not winning game two at some goal. Well, we, don't, we might, but it's a whole heap of trouble. It's big trouble. It's big trouble. It's a shitload of trouble. Now, can I say something? Yeah. I, Edward made some bets on the weekend. I bet I was, I'm of the opinion that Luai will be starting six game one. Oh, wow. What a Ooh. bet. And the boys. What a bet. Pay up big. And the boys reckon the boys reckon Hines. Oh, was and you had a bet with the boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're idiots. Yeah, that's what I said. That's what I said, and I just wanted your support. Yeah, yeah, to yeah. Make me can feel I better. can I cut in on this bet? I don't know. Richard and Kaz, if you're listening, do you want do you want oh, do you want more? Yeah, do, you want see, more yeah, yeah. do you want more money? Yeah. Do you want to put up more money? Because it's obvious here. You know what you've done there, though, and this is I know you know this is no slight on those two gentlemen who I'm very fond of, but like they're idiots. <laughs> yeah. You've, you've picked, like, two idiots, and you've gone, <laughs> give me your money. Yeah. There's just no way. Yeah. There's no way. No. Nah. Okay, so back Is to- that injury not No, no, no. Injury? Well, I think that I think a gentleman can agree that if it's, there's an injury that's voided. I hope you're right. I'd be shocked if that wasn't the case. It would Kaz be- tried to kick me out of a seat at the fucking stadium. I don't know. Who, may, who knows if he tries to <laughs> change the fucking goalpost. <laughs> he would. He would. <laughs> he tried to kick me out of his seat. <laughs> He goes, I saved that one. I go, can't. Everyone's sitting in everyone else's seats now. That's what happened. We came down. He goes, get up. And I go, Kaz, I am not moving a fucking millimetre, mate. So find your own seat. <laughs> is what it is. So those bets are on. Those bets are live. Where to now? Um, look, I don't know if there's any much, there's much else in rugby league at the moment for me personally. Manly's, Manly's great. Manly's fine. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Punters and Dribblers, exciting news. We are doing a live stream this Friday night from the Caxton Street Brewing Co. Uh, on Caxton Street for the Manly Seagulls, Brisbane Broncos, 1v2 game. Still 1v2. 8 p.m. Downstairs in a room they call the bunker. Limited capacity, but open to the public for free. But so limited. If, but limited. But open for free. If you're not going to the game... This is where you want to be. This is where you want to be. Come for some dribbling yarn. We're going to be shooting shit doing the stream, but then we're hanging out and we're sinking tins afterwards. Correct. So, I mean, it seems like if you're not going to the game, what the fuck else are you going to be doing? So if you want to watch us do a live stream 4K, but you can be in the room, limited capacity, that's where I'd be going. That's where it is. Capson Street, Caxton Street, Brewing Co. I've got to tell you, punters and dribblers, having a lot of trouble with that word for some reason. Wait, well, it's a tongue twister. Caxton Street, Brewing, Brewing Co. Co. In the bunker room. Bunker room. Downstairs. KO, Manly, Broncos, 8pm, Manly win. Come and watch Manly win and watch us celebrate. And sink tins yep. after we win. Yep. Now, a couple of things here that I want to get to, Edward. A couple of things. Can you please, Dave, 
find the video of the soccer referee getting fucking bashed. Cause, did you hear about that? No. Dude, oh. in... Um, what nation? Australia. Dude, this was like in a fucking... The, uh, the Greenacre local league on Friday night. A linesman got fucking bashed by a suspended player. He's now getting... like t- I'm pretty sure today he's getting surgery. like s- Getting facial reconstructive surgery. What for? Why do you, What for? Bad uh, call? <laughs> like, I'm just saying, what set this guy off? What set this guy off? I, uh, I don't know. I don't know. The that, guy's face, he got his jaw breaking like seven places. That's... F- oh, fuck. Go up, Dad. Yeah, can we find the video? I'm pretty sure the yeah, video's yeah, doing the, the rounds. Yeah, I was just trying to find some sort of justification. No, there's no justification. The guy has been... Sus- the guy's currently on a three-year suspension. Oh... I'm just wondering why the fuck he's done this. Uh, he's a amateur boxer, and he's been suspended for three years. He's probably just a piece of shit. And this is all alleged. Alleged. Yeah, he was suspended and at this match as a spectator. So uh, I think he on plays back. for one of the teams. Here he comes. Oh, Here my comes. God. This guy's a fucking psychopath. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, he's got a chair and shit. Oh my god, dude. Oh. Oh. Jesus Christ. What a fucking disgrace. It's like a, a, it's like you've got to say allegedly. <laughs> you know, it's like obviously it is alleged. What do you mean it's alleged? Well, I was hearing the fucking... Do you have to say alleged if there's footage? Bankstown Amateur Football says the alleged perpetrator was a suspended player. Jesus Christ. I get because it's before the court, but like, I just don't understand how alleged comes into it. Although I'm still saying alleged as well, (laughs) just so that everyone knows, I also, it's just alleged. (laughs) Yeah, the club's been withdrawn from the competition, which was probably going to get kicked out of, you would assume. Yeah, I mean that makes complete and utter sense. You got to go hard in the paint with shit like that. But that guy should go to prison though. Like that's yeah, yeah, yeah. that's like that's jail straight shit. up assault. That's like I don't understand. Like if you are, is that if, grievous bodily harm? Yeah, I don't even know dude, what that they're would... fucking broken his, he's broken his fucking face. Yeah, he broke his jaw apparently. The guy's getting surgery today. Seven places he broke it. Yeah. That's fucked. He's hammer fisting him and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the guy's an amateur boxer and he's currently suspended, allegedly, for doing allegedly what this video purports he allegedly has done. <laughs> Even though there's allegedly a, f- a video of it. Yeah. Allegedly. That I've just watched. And allegedly. we haven't said the guy's name because we don't know who he is. Allegedly, it's a guy. I don't even know if it's a guy. It could not be. Well, could be alleged- a fucking jacked chick. <laughs> Face is blurred, allegedly. Face is blurred and allegedly that would suggest that that could be a jacked female as well. Allegedly. Allegedly. But it I could can't be a sure. female with pecs, not tits. It, listen, it could have been a female. I'm not prepared to commit to. I'm not gonna. I don't want to. I don't want to. Any uh, incrimination of anyone who allegedly bashed the fuck out of a defenseless linesman. That could have been a guy or a girl. Could in be Friday anyone. night. In Friday night. In Padstow. In allegedly. fucking. You know what? Like, if we had camera footage that good of like a Sasquatch or a UFO. The debate to be over. He had a, f- a verbal altercation with a spectator, in a, a, a police statement said. The so they've just... Touchy. So they've just got into it verbally, and then old mates or old girl... Or old person. Old person has just gone, nah. Pretty I'm good a, pretty good, pretty good quality camera footage. Though. Do you think that... Now, do you reckon that blur has been put on after filming, or is that just unfortunate that there's been like a blur in the camera? Or do you think that the, that person has a blur? That's what I mean. Like, no, like, no, like, if you were to meet them in real life, oh, their is face that how is they blurred. <laughs> Shit, that'd be making it hard to identify. You'd have to go off the tattoos and stuff. Do, have any, but do people have blurred faces? Like, I know people have smudged faces. But people, have, people have had smudged faces before. I don't know about blurs. Mm. This could be a first. Jesus Christ. But no <laughs> one can confirm or deny that anything happened. No. Honestly, nothing may have happened. <laughs> Could have been AI generated. Yeah. Oh, a 25-year-old man charged over alleged assault. Oh, so of it is a man. So we know it's a man. Okay. We can remove that. Uh, we Listen, I think that 
it was unlikely that it was a woman, but you couldn't rule it out. I've seen I've seen chicks that size. Yeah, fucking eyes. I've seen bigger chicks than that. Yeah, way bigger. And weightlifting. Now, Jurgen Klopp. Uh, does you, is this is it inappropriate if I say that Jurgen sounds like <laughs> yearning? Well, no, but almost like a. I don't know. It sounds a bit like either an animal sound or like you're about to fucking boot. Jurgen's. It's an it's an interesting name. Going for a Jurgen. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know either. I get Klopp confused with someone else as well, though, by the way. Who? I don't know. I just know that like, there's a few of these like prominent European soccer coaches. You get like, Jurgen Klopp confused with someone. Looks-wise. Right. Looks-wise. Not the name. I was going to say. No, it doesn't sound like anyone else. Anyway, so what happened to you, Dave? Well, he was going up. Uh, so Liverpool beat Tottenham 4-3, but it was a close game. He was going up to the ref to have a go at him and apparently he pulled his hammy. 3-0 down against Liverpool. Tottenham looked to have secured a remarkable comeback in the dying seconds of the game. Only for the Reds to celebrate. There's no way he touched the ball. With moments remaining. And quite how Tottenham have turned this around is beyond me. Oh dear. It's not over yet. Shotter. 4 <laughs> Oh, whoever fucking gave that away will be shot. The win is Liverpool's fourth in a row oh. in the Premier League, and manager Jurgen Klopp seemingly <laughs> injured his hamstring amidst the celebration. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even get that. He didn't even get up that much speed. Oh, oh, see, so he just oh, goes out. Yeah, yeah, fuck, yeah. and he's trying to hide of it. Oh, no. Nah. Oh, no, nah, she done. <laughs> She gone. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> That's oh, great. Oh, mate. That's something I do at that yeah, age. Yeah, you love to see that. You love to see it. That's fucking dribbling. Shout out to Jürgen. Also, shout out to Tobler, who's a big Arsenal fan, and they've just fucked their title this year. They won't win it. Stiff shit. It's all over. And I've, all been, over I've been saying to him for fucking months, I'm like, you're not going to win. There's still a tiny, tiny, you're gonna, tiny, just, tiny, you're tiny, 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 tiny chance. Shut up. You know, they're in win. second now. They leapfrogged us and they got a game in hand. But you got if they pumped. lose two. You got pumped the other day. Yeah, no, 4 1. That wasn't good. But they're, they're, they're still. A and you got to play chance. Chelsea. You'll probably lose to them. No way. They're like 11th. Which you, I reckon. Shit. But we did lose to Southampton, who are fucking dead last. I reckon you, you lose, lose to Chelsea. I'm just saying that. No, so. put that on the record. Now. Beat City. Have a bet with him. Yeah, what do you want to bet? Um, what, that Arsenal will win? I reckon Chelsea beat Arsenal. Oh, on, yeah, 100 bucks. Arsenal beat Chelsea. Yeah, 100 bucks. Done. There you go. Uh, beautiful. That was funny. One more thing here, Eddie. Was it that? Uh, yep. Is it, are you going to talk about the Ashes thing? Stuart Broad? No, separate one. Okay. We'll Stuart Broad. After. The stupid fuck. Has basically said he doesn't count our win, our uh, our retention over there. He's like, it's COVID serious, doesn't count. I reckon he's just saying that to try and stir us up. Well, he's got me going. Yeah, well, fucking, I don't think he's got us. But I think that that's intended. I think that's Stuart Broad. You think he's mind gaming us? I reckon that's a mind games for sure. Or do you think it's a fighter trying to sell a fight? Is he a, is this salesman snake oil shit here? Same thing. Well, Same thing. He's drumming up interest. If he truly believes that, he's a fucking idiot. Yeah. Because we pumped you. Pumped you. Beat you. Pumped you. When you, ca- you haven't won a game in Australia in like fucking 30 years. Is that a COVID issue? Or is that because you stink? Mm. What is it? What is that? I think it's that they stink. I think it's your stink, mate. And you make the series down here fucking boring, unfortunately. Yes. Like, yeah, that's, that's just a reality. You make the series fucking boring because you got no ticker in your dog shit. That's why. Yeah. Never a close game. We pump you by an innings almost every game. You yep. haven't looked like winning a game since Amazing Adelaide. And you're fucking not as good as Glenn McGrath, mate. So why don't you just fucking shave your head, get back in your box, fuck off. Put another headband on, mate. Yeah. Like. You're not Glenn McGrath. You're not Glenn McGrath. You're not even fucking James Anderson. No, so you're not. So zip it. Who are you? Who are you? Are you even going to play? Probably not. You're just going to fucking whinge, mate. You'll be running water bottles. Yeah. You loser. So, look, I'm not angry about it, Tom. No, it no, doesn't no, get no, under no, my it skin. Go, no, full respect. It doesn't get under my skin. All I'm pointing out is you're shit. Yeah. You're weak. 
You're weak. You're a weak English boy who's not as good as Pidge. And that's it. You're not as good as Pidge. You never will be. No. Nah. And let's be honest. When we went over to England last time, we won the fucking series. I know the record books say draw, but Gary the Lion took that record. He took that wicket. We just didn't have any challenges left. Yeah, that's so not we, our fault. No, we won. It's it. not our fault. We didn't have any challenges and, left. And but and he, was was, he was out. He was out. He was out. We won that fourth test. Then we won the fifth one. Shut up. We won. Yep. That's it. Or whatever the test you order was. It. You get what I'm saying. So we won that series. You haven't won down here in fucking 30 years. And I'm not upset. You, you, you're known more for wearing headbands that look ridiculous on you than anything else. Yeah. Yep, you are. Certainly not known for taking wickets. No. Nah. Taking a couple of wickets. I saw you in a sushi restaurant once around here as well. I eyed you up. Nothing special. No. Nah. No. Nah. Nothing special. Nothing special. Just forgettable. Bland. Yeah. Bland. Looks like the avatar in a video game. Like, you're the thing that basically they're like, yeah, you obviously have to build on this. You have to add things to this. Otherwise, it's just a fucking, it's a, it's a mannequin. Yes, he, he'd do a job as a mannequin. He would, actually. He actually looks like a mannequin. Yeah, he does. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Fight him up. He looks like an avatar or a mannequin. You need to you know, put some hair on, put some features on. Yeah, yeah. Add some fucking... He'd arguably be more... If he'd chosen the mannequin life over cricket life, he'd probably be more well-known. So who are you, mate? He's a mannequin. Fuck him. Go and sit in the fucking storefront somewhere and shut up. Not, not Didn't get me going, though. No, it hasn't pissed me up at all. No. I'm just putting things out that yeah, are true. That are true. He's a slender man lookalike. Uh, Dave, what did you want to say, buddy? Well, yeah, I saw an article this morning. I don't know if you saw last month. Ben Stokes said uh, uh, what's about this the fuck got to say? upcoming Ashes. He goes, we've been very clear with the ground staff around England about what type of wickets we want, and they've been very responsive to us. We want fast, flat wickets. We want to go out there and score quickly. So obviously this Bullshit. whole basball thing. Um, and now it's come out that England are considering basically making all the boundaries as short as possible for the Ashes series. It has to be a minimum of 59 metres. Um, and they're basically saying England are going to put out like 60 metre boundaries every single test. Because they're shit. For their so whole they're just like thing. doctoring. They're, What's they're as bad as India. It's, a, it's Basball's McCullum, Brennan McCullum, where they're just like, it's just really attacking form of test cricket it's like a really attacking approach where have you been i don't know where have you been you haven't heard of basketball at all never never ever no because you fucking have you absolutely have i've just forgotten it you reckon you, mate even when we were sitting at the pub recently and we we're watching it and we we're talking we we're watching new zealand play england i think and we were talking about it with the people we were there with just right. as an example right so it's just it's just slipped out from a You're like, yeah, I guess it's I mean, listen, it's it's a Monday, so I'm gonna allow you off there, but generally speaking, it's like it's not like short term memory loss <laughs> off of a weekend. It's that you don't fucking know what basketball is. Which is important to know coming into the ashes. Uh again, I wonder whether it's just the mind games. And you're playing those mind games. It's mind games. It's hundred percent. Uh, Listen, it didn't piss me off because it's mind games, and I know it. To, I know exactly what it is. All this shit's mind games. Yeah, it's all mind games. When you are, when you are inferior, right? When you're lesser than, you got to you got to play a little bit dirty. Mm. It's, not, it's not too dirty, but you got to start to try and move momentum in your favour. Yes, and comments like Stuart Broads, Basball, which I've just learned about. Short fucking fields. That's all just to try and swing momentum back their way because you know it'll swing momentum further in our, in our way. So Anzac Day last week, great um, day, great day. Did I remind everyone that I won five in a row? Yeah, you all did. tails. Yeah. Did I tell people that? Yeah, I think so. I think you did. It was a great win. But our friend uh, and Triple J obsessed producer over there, Tommy Tobler. When he was playing two up, uh, where were you playing? Uh, out of the hardboard diggers down in freshwater. Yeah. So he uh, he sees, you know, a tall drink of water across the fucking the way there. Who else but Mitchell Stark of Australian fast bowler fame? Mm. Now, Tobler never switches off as a producer. You know, he's always got his producing hat on. Basically, went up there, took him on, lost intentionally, I think, to get. 
you know, a good rapport going with, with Mitch, make Mitch feel like things are going well, and then basically was like, come on the podcast. What did he say? Well, I believe on the day he said yes, and Tobler told us, and I was like, Tobler, you're probably fucking... I think I basically said, well, I'll give you your fucking cash prize if you can get this guy on the podcast. Uh, not expecting it to happen at all. Now, he hasn't had the podcast. He hasn't done the podcast, but he... Tobler was DMing him from the account, the show account. And was he replying? Yeah. Was he? Said so, he'd do it. So Tobler might deliver. Tobler may deliver. Tobler, can I ask you something? Sure. Have you, on your radio, on your car, is every single, like, saved option? 105.7, baby. 105.7. <laughs> Are they all tuned to Triple J? Absolutely. Yeah, I thought so. Okay. I just wanted to check. No, that's good. I'm glad you... It's good to know. It's would, important to know. Yeah, it's important to know. Got a little Triple J air freshener in the car as well? Yeah. Bumper sticker? They fucking no, got pumped bumper in the sticker. ratings again, the radio ratings. Are they, are they, is it all over? I don't know if it's all over. Like, I don't know, but it's like. It's I think like, radio itself is all over. And they don't really do it. Well, I don't know about that. that. So I don't know how much. Live I sports think they'll still kick good. it. Oh, so how, what, what are they, they down to? Twos. From where? They were fucking high up, I'm I sure. they had 12s or 14s at one point. Wait, maybe not 14s. Don't maybe like about, 11s. I don't know about that. 11s or 9s. Uh, I don't know. It's been going down for a while, but now I'm pretty sure it's the lowest it's been. Who won? Uh, Colin and Jackie O win again? No, didn't Fordham knock Fordham them off? Fordham breakfast, but then FM's Colin and Jackie O. Sydney total was Ben Fordham. It's for people that don't give a fuck about radio ratings, but... Do they ever really change except for Triple J going down? <laughs> mm, no, I don't know, dude. I don't know. It's a weird, it's a weird rating system. Not really. I don't think so. How often do they do the ratings? I think four times a year, maybe, maybe more. Do they just do they go on holidays when they do ratings? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just like that's a great fucking. I mean, if you're on breakfast though, dude, a week off, oh, fuck, you need it. Like those hours are fucked. Yeah, that's a good point. Speaking of Triple J, I missed a. There was a Triple J bet in the Raiders Dolphins game. When Jared Croker, Jack White, and Jordan Rapana all scored, as well as Jamal Fogarty. So I just had to get that off my chest. And you didn't do it. Didn't do it. The Triple J bet. I had a bad beat on Friday. Silly Cobbs. You didn't get another bet, did you? No. Nah. Silly Cobbs, though. Fucking that South bet was almost coming off. But it didn't. No, it didn't. I got, um, my, I got mine. Yeah, I know. It pissed me off. Pissed me off. Seb got his. And also, the whippy. Huh? All, all of our fucking Sharks bets from the previous week got up in their Thursday night game. But not. But obviously none of them, except for Sebs. Back to fucking, uh, is it McLennan? I don't even know what he's fucking McLennan, name. Jack McLennan. Hamish. Hamish uh, McLennan. Sure is it Hamish McLennan? No, it's Jack McLennan. Yeah, Jack McLennan. Yeah. We'll go with Jack. Uh, <clears throat> he says this in regards to the fucking scrums and all this shit. This is him really stirring the pot, trying to get Vlandis pumped up. League talks about toughness, but I reckon an arm wrestle at the pub would be harder than their scrums. <laughs> Let's have a competition between the two best sides and see who's tougher. We'll do the best of three scrums with the league version, the best of three with a rugby version and see who comes out on top. Rugby Australia will put 100000 in the kitty and the winner donates the prize money to charity and we'll get nine to televise it live. If it's a draw, we'll have a spelling competition to determine the winner. <laughs> 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 dude, <laughs> I love like this well guy. The ball is well back in the court of Lannies. That's pretty funny, dude. That's funny. <coughs> that's funny as fuck. That dude. is that is funny. funny. That's objectively funny as fuck. Spelling comp if it's a draw is fucking. That's funny, cheeky. dude. That's that's real cheek. Listen, this is what it's all about. This is what, like, I... I know, didn't right? even... This is, like, this is a back and forth I didn't even fucking know could be possible. But the thing is, the only it's reason... It's coming out of nowhere. If Rugby League didn't say a fucking thing, then it would stop. But they're, they're dancing... They're, they're partaking in the dance. But I love it. So do I. I want Vlandis to come... But I think the come. leaguies are fucking way more pissed off. No, the leaguies are pissed off. But they shouldn't be. No. Because... The game is fucking monster. Because they should just be like, oh, cute, bro. Exactly. Except that the rugby's starting to like try and, you know, snap up their players. So they're like... Some players. Let's see. How they're really they fucking get. butthurt about Suli. Like, they're really fucking pissed off. But he just has to come out and be like, yeah, I want, I want Payne Haas. Oh, yeah, I want Nathan Cleary. But, like, even if he doesn't, he's just say it. 
it, yeah, it's good. And he's picked scrum, something they could never lose, you know. Yeah, I mean? we'll do a rugby league scrum, we'll do a rugby union scrum, or we'll just do a spelling comp. I didn't know the spelling comp yarn. They kept that quiet. That's a funny fucking line. Like, yeah. That's a funny, dribbly, shit talky line. Yeah. Spelling comp, hilarious. Very, very good. <laughs> Keep it up, Hamish. Keep it You're up. You're entertaining me, mate. Yeah, go. Punch back, Vlandis. Um, mate, I have nothing else. That's us, buddy. That's us. Put in a good shift today. Nice. Put, just a nice, solid shift. Put a good shift in. Yeah. Punched it out. Punched it out. Couple of giggles. Some strong opinions. Yeah. Really strong stuff. And just a nice morning with you, mate. Yeah, really, really loved it. But I'm out of puff now. I know you are, buddy. And it's time to go. Okay, bye-bye. Could you two just not talk anymore? <laughs> <laughs>